Let's be real. The dark and cold is so sucky. You all recently bombarded me with questions about working out in the winter time. As someone who lives half their life in Northern Sweden and Northern Canada, I I'm going to call myself an expert in this. And I have 10 steps and six sneaky hacks that make working out in the cold enjoyable. And how to stay motivated when the couch is just so much more cozy. That seems crazy for me to say, I know. Step one is getting dressed up and start warming up inside. I I'll do jumping jacks. I'll run on the spot. You want to get to that point you warm up so much you just want to take a layer or two off. Then you know you're ready to go outside because going outside sounds refreshing, not cold. Step two is an old Swedish saying. It's never too cold, you're just underdressed. Here's how to dress. Sweat wicking sports bra slash underlayer. Long sleeve sweat wicking heat insulating long sleeve. If you live in a mild climate, you'll get away with shorts. If you live in a moderately cold climate, fleece line leggings. And if you live in a crazy cold climate, first thermal leggings, layer a pair of joggers over top. If I was in Edmonton or Sweden, this is what I would do. I'm in Vancouver, so we're going this. Especially if you're someone like a tot, a vest. It's gonna keep in here warm, but allow some air breeze here. But if you're living somewhere cold, invest in a insulated yet breathable sweat wicking jacket like boom. <laughs> Two things that can make or break an outdoor run that are often forgot about, not invested in. And in the scheme of things, they're probably the cheapest items. Cover your ears. Exposed ears can ruin a run. And honestly, headbands are in. Cover the ears, your hands. Don't lie to yourself. Get a pair of gloves. You can get thinner ones that are more sleek, wool ones that are a bit more warm, and you can get waterproof. And here's the biggest tip. Get ones that work really well with scrolling on your phone, because don't lie to yourself. You're gonna hate that song or podcast 20 minutes in, you're gonna take them off, take off your gloves, and it ruins the whole point of having gloves because your hands will get cold. Buy the tech ones. Unless you don't use your phone, then you can't relate. You're welcome for the free foot footage. When it's really cold, get wool socks. Also, don't get socks that are too tight. I find it cuts off the circulation. I swear I almost got frostbite last year from having no circulation in my foot. There is nothing, nothing worse than soggy wet feet while running. You're cold, miserable, and every step it's a reminder. Waterproof running shoes. I've gotten both the Nike Pegasus with Gore-Tex and On Clouds water sh running shoes. I like On Clouds because they slip on and I'm lazy in the winter. And it's just one less thing stopping me from getting out the door. It's slipping on. Is it great for you? No, but it gets me out the door. These just look cooler. Number nine's on my wish list. Get a headlamp. Step number four. Slow down. How'd you run on the ice? You don't. No shame in the stop and walk game. There's spiking running shoes you can get that are specific for running on the ice. But if you're like me and can't be bothered, here's what I do. You're running, you see mysterious black ice or snow covered, you're not sure, you just stop. You stop and walk. It's not that deep. And then you run again. Winter running is not for PRs, it's for survival. If you can get out and run when it's cold, you're already better than 99.9999% of people. Don't worry that you don't run the whole time. Step five. I'm working on mental shift. We now love the darkness. The darkness is sultry, feminine, cool, chic. We thrive in the darkness. We just tell ourselves every morning we're people that love the dark. It's a lie, but we're lying and gaslighting ourselves for our own mental well being. As much as I love to use the placebo effect on myself to say I love the darkness, the reality is humans actually need the sun because of vitamin D. So in the winter time, I load up on vitamin D. Vitamin D I do use is AG1's D3K2, which you guys can get free. I, of course, have been drinking AG1 for three years now, almost every day. The reason I take it has my adaptions, antioxidants, 75 whole food sourced ingredients. So it's my multivitamin, probiotic, prebiotic, all in one. I mean, it's a vibe. It's a vibe. Also low key, it's green 
Christmas holiday. Great gift idea, great New Year's resolution. If you got an Andrew Huberman lover in your family, Boom, Christmas gift idea. It's just my little habit, my little ritual. If you guys use my code down below, with your first purchase AG1, you will get five free travel packets and, and a one year supply of the vitamin D3K2 with your first purchase. What about material? Wool stood the test of time. Merino specifically, if you can afford it. 100% Merino is double layered for extra warmth and it's also breathes, wicks moisture and resists the odor. I also look for fleeced lined leggings, waterproof gloves and reflective details when you're running in the dark or low light. Now we've talked a lot about running specifically, but there's a lot of other ways to work out, primarily hot girl walks, let's be real. And here's my biggest tip of how I continue my hot girl walks even when it's miserable. First I went on Pinterest, typed in winter outfit aesthetic. And I found five outfits I'm just obsessed with. And I recreated them with the warmest material. I wanted the cutest, warmest, most practical outfits I could find that matched my vibe. We all have those fits. I have them. These random, this is like a knockoff hoodie I have, and I'll put it on because it's comfy. Hood up. I'm going out looking like this, not cute. Now there is no shame in that. If that gets you out the door every day and you're happy, that is fine. But I find I'm just not quite as motivated when I also know I look like I'm walking around in a sleeping bag. But if you can find two to five chic, comfy, practical, you will be jumping out the door because you're not letting an outfit go to waste. Let me show you some examples. This fit, it is walking pajamas, but it's a fit. I'm warm. Oh, oh, you want to take a Instagram photo? You bet, I'm on board. This will not go to waste. I will get out, I will walk 10 kilometers to a cute coffee shop because someone needs to see this outfit. And that's why I think dressing cute and warm is the best move. Here are the outfits I pinned. It took me like two years to buy all these things. So just focus on one a year sign. It's taken a lot of year to collect all these jackets. Comment down below if you guys would like like a full lookbook, cause I could go on. This is my prime. This is where I'm living. Cute, comfy, practical, winter appropriate attire. This tip sucks, but it works so well. Every workday lunch, I go for five, 10 minute walk, even just a minute. If you go the whole day without going outside, it is so much harder to be motivated after work, just being cooped up inside for like eight to 10 hours. But if you just take that quick midday stroll, your motivation will be so much higher. Now here are my six random hacks I do during my work slash school day that keeps me motivated if I have to go work out after work or just to do anything after work. Would either of you want a hot cocoa? This is not a brand deal, actually. Oh, <laughs> I was about to say, wow. Wow. No, but I'm making myself one. Would you like one? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So if I'm gonna go on that walk after work or I gotta go to the gym after work and I'm feeling cold and chilly, that's hot. Hot tea, have a couple sips before I go out and then going outside when it's freezing, you got a warm drink, it just makes it a mood. It's all about making it a vibe. Outside, no hat, no tea, not a vibe. A vibe. One of the things that sucks my motivation the most is that like gross, heavy, smelly feeling. You know like when you've been inside for eight hours and your apartment just has that musk? How I fix that? Put on a diffuser and I just find the scent, I like a pine scent, like a really nature scent. Just freshens it up and gets rid of, what was the word? Stuffy. Stuffy. Gets rid of the stuffiness. <laughs> Like obviously you can do a candle, but something about a candle is anxiety inducing. Like you have got to blow it out, you can't leave, but this is just, it goes all day. Oh. 
Okay, fluorescent overhead lights are not gonna replace the sun, but I just like to have like a trigger that when I'm at work, I'm supposed to be productive, all bright lights. Bright lights everywhere, every light in my apartment, every light in the office. But when it's time to unwind at the end of the night, lights down. Kind of have that trigger of this is awake time and this is night sleepy time. If I like have dim lights during the day, I'm gonna to start to be sleepy during the middle day and I have no idea when it's daytime, morning, evening, and then life's a blur. And my favorite tip for when you just have no motivation, like it's that 2 p.m. slump. I've just been working all day, then I gotta go to school. I have zero energy. I'm just like, oh, I don't wanna go outside. I don't wanna do anything. Take off as many layers as possible. And I just stand outside in the cold for anywhere from just 10 to 30 seconds and it just zaps me wide awake and it's just like the perfect reset. So yeah, just every couple hours in the middle of winter, I just jump outside, <laughs> jump right back in. Tip number five is book a workout class. Back, they charge you a penalty for not showing up. Ensures I will get my butt there no matter what. And my final tip is this old psychological trick I play on myself and I tell myself I just have to go work out for one minute. I just have to show up, stretch once, and I can leave. And by the time I get there, I end up doing an entire workout, but something psychologically about telling myself I only have to go for a minute gets my butt there. And that's my hacks for staying motivated, getting motivated, and just being able to work out outside, primarily running and walking. I can get more specific. And like I said, I can show you guys those outfits. So if you want anything else similar to this, comment down below. Love to bring you through it, because guess what? This is eight months of my life. Because why I decided to live in Canada and Northern Sweden, it's a vibe. I'm not hating on it anymore, it's a vibe. We enjoy it. Cocoa, tea, cute, cozy outfits. Let me know any of your guys' hacks down below and have a great day, go pet dog, love you guys, bye.